Hi, Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here. Um, we have a bonus video for you today. Um, this is a time-lapse version of a video recently of um, embroidery. We have decided not to put it in the main video as the time-lapse would have been going so fast you wouldn't have seen my hands they would be so blurry so we've decided to put this down to 25 minutes we're going to put some background music on and I will be butting in every so often to explain the stitches as we go along oh sorry about my head there so I've used various threads um, and I've used three strands each time, separating the six strand um, floss. Um, and I've used about five, three different yellows, two different greens, and some other brighter colors as well. Um, and you may remember from the previous video that we stamped the image onto the cloth and then put it into the embroidery ring. So I'm trying not to catch the fabric at the back as I'm going round because it's a bit flappy. Um, high in sight I maybe should have trimmed it round a bit but I wasn't sure when it was going to be put on so I didn't want to trim it too close to the embroidery itself. That's me um, separating the threads to... Uh... Now I'm doing the chain stitch so you put your needle in and you have the thread loop underneath the needle as you pull it through and then it holds it in place on the top of the fabric. and that's forming the stems of some of the flowers. Um, now I'm doing securing for the French knots. Uh, French knots, you put the needle up with through the fabric, pull it right through and then wind the thread round the needle then up and over what you've wound round and back down through to the back and that gives you little bobbly bits um, French knot I believe it's called I can do the stitches but I can't always name them so we're doing some more French knots here in the lovely lavender colour Not sure what we're doing in that bit there. We're probably adjusting the microphone or the camera. I kept the red background because um, it, otherwise the white um, cutting board wouldn't be able to see properly what we were doing. Oh, there's my head again. I'm trying to keep it in shot as much as I can, but sometimes when you're threading the needle, you need to get it a bit close to you. Uh, looks like I've got myself a bit tangled up there. Unfortunately, where the embroidery floss is wound, um, round itself and you separate it out it can sort of snag a little bit on occasions so you have to be make sure that you pull it right through from the back so otherwise you get loops at the back that um, where it's not been pulled through properly there I go threading the needle again I must have done that about 50 times I think the other thing is not to have your thread too long because again, it can snag. 
and I'm not doubling this up because it's only three threads at a time or it's three threads at a time so I don't need to double it up otherwise we might as well use a six thread um, so each one of these fre French knots I've wound it round the needle between five and seven times um, just to give different size little bobbles so that they weren't you know all sort of the, the same depth and uh, look what we're we doing now we're still French knots okay Oh, the light's gone. <laughs> Sorry about that. The, the light went and I was concentrating on what I was doing. I didn't notice that the light had gone out. You can still just about see what I'm doing, but it's not as bright as I'd like to have been. And by concentrating on what she was doing, she means she was listening to a video in the background and completely wasn't paying attention to anything else. I was chilled. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Like bump in the road there. We have upgraded the lights literally this morning, so hopefully this won't be as big a problem in the future. The trouble is when you're doing a six hour video and the batteries only last two hours, no, um, <laughs> it, it will happen from time to time. So we'll Get around to changing it eventually, I believe. It's not too bad, but certainly. I'm working on the ribbon now, and that's just basic um, back stitch. So you do a stitch, and then you come back halfway through the previous stitch, and then do another stitch, um, and makes it nice blocky um, line. On a couple of occasions I lost concentration with train of thought and I ended up going through the wrong side and having the thread wrap around the actual embroidery ring so I had to pull it out and uh, re-thread which is a bit annoying but it happens especially when you've got a long length of thread and you're not sure which side it's come from I was distracted by the cat at one point she came up to say hello and uh, wouldn't wouldn't take the hint to um, move on She's interested in watching the birds out in the garden, so she likes to sit on the desk so, so she can see the birds. And chewing on the cables as well. Yeah, she likes chewing on the cables, which is not so good. But... So here I'm just securing, and again I do my trick of going through the loop a couple of times and then knotting it off. But I don't cut the thread too short. Um, and the next lot of embroidery will go over the top and hold the thread down some of the time, which is quite handy. Um, and as I didn't know whether this was going to be framed or put on a card or what I was the pur the purpose of it was to enjoy doing the actual needlework, but the use of it. Um, still to be ascertained shall we say i'm not sure where it's going or who it's going to yet oh. 
Eventually, we notice the light's gone out. Yeah, eventually. It will brighten up in a minute, I hope. The other problem is it was getting dark outside as well, so that um, was a bit dim from there as well. If anyone's interested in me making cards, not necessarily with embroidery, but with this particular stamp, I can stamp the image and colour it to a similar um, layout. Um, so let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do that, because um, I think it's a very pretty stamp. And this is the first time I've used it, and I've had it quite some time, never really gotten around to do much with my rubber stamps so um, or my clear stamps either um, so I'm hoping to do a bit more work with those well the, you've got the blocks with the rubber stamps on them and you've got the clear stamps or cling stamps they're sometimes called which you use on the stamp block so in actual fact, the image doesn't look a lot different as to what you've used. It's just the format that it comes in that's different. And the same is you can make your own foam stamps. So the image will, you know, depending on how you make your foam stamps, the image would be printed on the paper or fabric or whatever you're using. Just the same. It's just a different mode of... Um, getting the ink on wherever you want it to be. Right, back to the embroidery. I think we're doing over-stitching now, which is side-by-side stitching. Um, and I'm fanning it out a little bit to make the flowers look more pointed at the top. So you, you go from one central point and then work along the base to give it like a triangle effect that's in the pretty little pink um, unfortunately I didn't take note of the numbers of the fabric so I can't tell you what the actual colors were um, I'm not very good at keeping records on things like that to me it's just pink green or whatever shade I, I like to use I don't I know um, those that do tapestries and things like that um, do like to know what color threads you're using and what numbers they are Sorry folks, I didn't take note. All right, now we're going up the stem. Um, I was trying to work out at the bottom bit what was stem and what was ribbon. And I think some of it I made up as I went along, but it looks okay, so that's the main thing because I think you've got more flowers and stems that come out the bottom but then the stems might you know be hidden by other stems that's what I thought artistic license that's my excuse right, it's coming along nicely I'm really pleased with the ribbon um, the way I've managed to get the little holes from the bow bit just filling in a leaf I believe that one is oh no yes yeah, so it's a long thin leaf so it's a daffodil leaf and to get the bent over effect I've put my thread one way and then I put it the opposite way coming down so it, it gives it a shading effect because you've got your, your thread direction slightly different and to highlight the daffodils, the one we're just coming past now, um, I put the base colour on and then I went over chain stitch along the petals a little bit in order to um, highlight the shape of the petals to give it a more 3D look.
I wish I could sew that quickly in real life. That would be handy. I can get loads of stuff done that way. I made this project a bit quicker. <laughs> yeah, would have done, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you... It's not actually in fast speed, you're just actually that fast. I wish. Right, I'm doing some more um, chain stitch here. So you can see a little bit easier, hopefully, that I'm bringing the needle up and pulling the loop behind where the needles come up and then going down past the thread for the next stitch. It's difficult to describe um, when it's not such a close up, but um, now I'm finishing off again. Maybe I'll, um, well, like a bit more practice and I'll maybe do some stitch lessons once I've worked out what to do myself properly and we can do a bit more close up. That's a, another future possibility. So you're saying about you wanting to go that fast normally, reminds mm. me, I think there was, um, back at um, like when Superman was first being published, oh. they would give him random new powers every week, right? And one of them was super basket weaving. Oh! Obviously. Oh yeah, a bit different. That's something I haven't tried. What, oh, Superman basket weaving? Well, basket weaving full stop, but um, I'd like to have the superpowers. Mm -hmm. Get a lot more done in the day, wouldn't you? Oh, well, maybe we could do some basket weaving for um, like plant <laughs> pots. When we move. Um, maybe macrame. I've not tried macrame. Oh, what am I doing on my phone? Oh. Sorry for that six hours straight. I think I was chatting to someone on the phone there. Oh, having a having a chit chat while I was working. That's probably when uh, his nibs rang you, wasn't it? It was when his nibs rang me, yes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hope that didn't wake anybody up. Yeah, unfortunately, because of just how this is, this is going to get very little, if any, editing on the audio. Put <laughs> so. oh. your phone out the screen, Deborah. On, on the phone listening to country music while I was um, embroidering away. So I knew this was going to be a time lapse piece, so it wasn't. We wasn't worried about the audio on that. Live stream. Right, did you catch that guys? We're hoping to do a live stream on the 3rd of May for our 50th episode. So book that date in your diaries. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. And that's 2024 for those who are listening in the future. Sorry about that, you've missed it, but it'll probably be archived somewhere. Um, watch that. Yeah, we should should have it in the in the record somewhere along the line. The better look. We know exactly what we're doing and we've definitely got stuff planned already. Yep. Oh, we've got lots of things planned. It's just making them work. I have lots of great ideas, but they're not necessarily practical for videos, shall we say. Some of them are too big a um, projects to, to get in camera. While we're doing housekeeping as well, um, another thing is the new video time. So all videos in the past have been at 5.30. Greenwich Mean Time. Your GM, oh, UK local time, um, GNT or BST. Um, 
I, I think we're in BFT still. I'm not sure. Yeah, clocks go back in a couple of weeks. Yeah. We're well, now it, in March. It, it, yeah, it, it would have been both, but I think we've only been in the one time zone since we started. Mm. Anyway, going forwards, we have moved the times back to 7 p.m. Um, still local time. That will be GMT or BSC depending on what the I've season. got over time. Um, so yeah. Oh, here comes the Ooh. cat. Evicted, jump back on again. Just dealt with her. Evicted and jump back on again. She wouldn't take no for an answer, bless her. You would have had this, I think the this microphone is, as well. This is where I um, get cafuddled and end up putting the thread around the wrong side of the um, embroidery. So you would have had her cut in the microphone right now, but we've chucked her out. Yeah, she's uh, a little bit, bit obsessed with being in front of the camera, a bit of a diva, bless her. She'll miss her when she goes back to see my sister. Sorry, back to live with my sister. Yeah. <laughs> For a month or so before she disappears again. We might get her back again for a little while. I'm all separating the threads. I worked out an easier way of doing it by holding the, the threads that I've already untwisted apart and then twisting the thread that was needing to be untwisted with the other hand. It worked out a little bit easier. I didn't get quite so tangled. Yeah, do you want to explain that properly now? Because I got to that point in the video and it, you weren't very clear. I think you were distracted and sort of saying half it in your head at the time. Right, so what I did is cut the piece of thread off the length I wanted it, then separated three strands for each side, pulled it a little bit and then held those two pieces between my fingers so that they didn't retwist and then twisted the end that was twisted with the six strands um, to untwist everything and then moved my fingers along to hold the bit separated again so you and worked my way down the thread. S split the six threaded embroidery thread try saying that when you had a few um yeah. into two lots of three threads right hope that's clear as mud oh and we're coming up to the end uh, oh now i've got a couple minutes i can't read the time <laughs> so oh she's she back again yeah she's here to the end now and uh we decided to work with her Although the embroidery is a little bit out of shot, I did try and hover over her, but she decided she wanted to play with the thread as I was doing it. So, oh, evicted again. I thought I left her on there, but yeah. I mean, it looks like she's only on there for like a few seconds, but she was on. You've got to remember, this was about 2,000 times the speed or something like that, ridiculous. So, mm. she, she I'm just, I'm just doing the highlights on the. Um, last few petals now and uh, if I remember rightly I'll give you a nice close-up screenshot of um, the finished article well that's right I was sitting with you then I took her out when I left that's right so tally bye for now and see you in the next one much love Bye-bye for now.